This is Turning Point, Profiles of Fairleigh Dickinson University alumni. In this episode, we feature Mary Alice Rauschai, president of a lending firm called Business Funding. She's an expert in wealth management, has run banks, is an equestrian, and is a major advocate of Roxton College. I think the turning point was really going to Roxton. I, fairly, yes, definitely, and getting an MBA, but Roxton really made me independent. Right now, jobs are so hard to get for students that one of the things the Roxton experience really does is you get to put it on your resume. So my resume says Fairleigh Dickinson University, BA and MBA in finance, and then right under there is Roxton College, Oxfordshire, England. I have gotten so many jobs, both junior and senior, because that is on my resume. You live in a big mansion on 50 plus acres with um, gardens in the back that are phenomenal, a big lake, and so you can have picnics back there. The friendships you develop, I still have all my friends and I'm 55 years old. We have Roxton reunions in New York every year. There's so much camaraderie, it's amazing, and networking. Don't start when you're ready to graduate. It's too late. Well, it's not too late, but you should really uh, go for internships, either your sophomore year of college during the summer or your junior year. Make sure it's a good internship. What happened to me was fairly uh, got me an internship with Housing and Urban Development in Morristown, New Jersey. The place was a mess. It was grunt work. It was, uh, uh, but what happened there was I cleaned up the department and one of the people there referred me to one of the largest law firms in the world called Sherman and Sterling. And I ended up getting a job my senior year full time working in New York and then finishing up at night um, at Fairley to get my BA. So it's just so important to do that. Be a chameleon. When you walk in someone's office, look around. If they have golf balls hanging on a shelf, they're a golfer. So if you're a golfer, talk about golf. If, they have, if they're into horses, like I'm wearing a horse scarf, talk about horses, your first experience on a horse, even if you fell off. But the more you have in common with your employer, the better. I started when I was in high school, and I would show, uh, jumper shows, um, at Lord Sterling Park in Basking Ridge. And then uh, horses sort of went away as I went to college. In fact, my horse was sold to pay for college, which I didn't really like, but anyway, had a grin and bear it. And then when my daughter got to be um, around three, she started riding in Puerto Rico a little bit. And since then, we've had, I have an Arabian. She's got an Argentinian Silla, which is a jumper. And we have a little mini called Casanova. He's a stallion. They're like my big dogs, these three horses. So, um, but the other real thing, I, as I love about riding, is that you go out there and my horse will see a big red truck and I, I have to put him in circles because he'll be, I'll be on the ground and he'll be flying. Um, but it's, so, horseback riding sort of like life is there's always changes going on and I think that's the most fun about it. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know when you're out in the woods what you're gonna see. I think the reason is it's under, misunderstood. In banking, there's so many divisions you can get into. There's human resources, there's finance like CFO, there's accounting, there's sales, my forte, I love sales. Um, there's private banking, which is wealth management, which is investments, so you, ha you handle people's money. There's trust and estate areas. Bank, and there's retail, which is what everyone's used to. You go into a branch, which is also a wonderful career. But there's so many aspects to banking, I think everyone should look at it. Wealth management has a number of different aspects that it entails. Um, it's primarily uh, investment management for people. It's also called private banking. So what we would do is uh, invest your stocks, bonds, cash, your mutual funds, um, your IRA account, your 401k, uh, employee benefit accounts. We would look at to make sure you have wills in place because there's a lot of bad things that happen if you don't have wills. In my career path for banking is if I didn't jump, people would think I was still that same person. So I was a vice president, I'd always be a vice president. And I saw men and women who stayed a vice president because they didn't jump and I wasn't gonna do that. So that's why I jumped. There's a lot of good recruiters out there that give you a call and offer you a lot more money and a much senior position. And, and I would always say, yes, I'll go talk to them. I love new things, I love new culture. And I think that's what the rocks and experience built into me that change is good, change is always needed, and if you're stagnant, you don't go anywhere. You've got to change. <laughs>